Okay, welcome to video number seven. Whatever happened to one to six? Eh? Um, previously, we were looking at session four. Nothing majorly changed here, but if you remember, we introduced the include statements. And I said this is going to be a massive change, but actually, I only introduced you to one single line. Well, that's because hopefully the strength of this include comes into its own in, within this session. Uh, this is session number four, and the important thing to remember with session number four was that just as with all others, we had this structure here with the CSS document, which we're not going to touch at all within these videos, now we've created it. But we also have one called pages, and we introduced the idea of main and, na na main and nav, plus the original three, add, delete, and edit in those documents. What we're going to do is change that view just slightly. If you remember, if I click on edit, it simply goes around but brings me back to here. I hadn't done anything with any of these with the add or anything else. But let's have a look at those other pages before I open anything else up. To get to those other pages, I need to have gone in, typed in the names, oops, I'll put caps lock on. And then add.php. And there it is. No formatting, no styling, it's just a form. We'll have a look at that in a second. If I change this, edit dot php, same thing. The only thing changes here is it says save changes. But the edit is there. And delete. Looks like that. No styling, nothing to them at all. That was with session number four. Now actually, let's have a look at the code of those. Just always remember to write, go to click on the icon, never the name. That's the add table, the add page, sorry, that we have in four. This is the ed uh, delete page. Are you sure? Now we saw this all pop up. There's no PHP in this at all. It's all standard HTML. And this is the edit page. Looks very similar to the add. Little bits have changed. This says add. This is edit. And on the edit page, it says save changes. But here it just says add contacts. That's the only difference. The only other things were worth remembering was the main, which looks like that. Everything we had before, no real changes there. And there's the navigation. The index hasn't changed; is the same as we left it last session. What we introduced was these includes. So let's have a look at session number five. Now session number five looks exactly the same, but let's go to edit. And now we've got this with the formatting, with the styling, and everything else. Go to view contacts, go to delete. Now it's coming up with the data, giving us the choices with the formatting. Go back to view, go to add, there's the add form as well. So now we've got our multi pages, but notice it's got index.php. When I delete that, it keeps me on the same page. There's no difference. All it's saying is index because that's where the view context brings us to. But if I click on add contact, it still says index.php, but it's got this funny blurb after it, this added statement at the end. So let's start having a look at what session 5 has actually introduced for us. Let's have a look at the index page first. The index page here looks very similar to the index page there. If we look all the way down to line 33, line 33 is the in the, uh, include statement, it's the include statement. So we're safe with session 4 to go all the way to the end, to line 47. Let's have a look at session 5. Go down, and line 47's now changed. We've got a whole load. Now we're at the end, but there's your include nav. 
there's the div main just as we've got here include nav div main is there the php is still there and everything after it is the contact information um, let's just get that to there everything after is there but this php has grown whereas before we simply had the include main we've now got a whole load of new code so let's have a look at this piece of code first if well, we've seen an if statement before this is a selection it says if is set now what this is looking for is this dollar get is this part that I was saying about here this is called a get statement act is the get variable name so when I get back to my code I can see that it says if is this set has has the system sent you a get statement which is called act now in this case the answer is yes there is an act variable being sent and it's equal to add if it has been set then it goes to this brackets set of curly brackets here if it hasn't been set then it goes to this else so if this is true if there is a get statement then go then run everything here but if there isn't a get statement then go to here and then that's where it will run the main so what happens if there is a get statement well then it says take the get statement of act and store whatever its value is as dollar action well in this case its value is add so add gets stored to dollar action and this is what we call a select case uh, it's got the word case in it but they've changed the word in PHP from select to switch and basically it says look for whatever you've got in action and we've got the term add there so if this is worth it is equal to add include the add page so we're using the add that we're using this case now to decide which page to view so this case add will go and load the add page and then break tells it that's the end don't do the, any of more of the statements obviously don't do the else because that hasn't happened so go straight down to there if it's not add if it's edit and when will it be edit well let's go out to view contacts notice index hasn't got one so it goes back to main edit it's now got the word edit there something else after it just to throw you even further you might go, oh my god that's not added to this edit it's just edit the and the ampersand separates the sounds so the edit there gets passed down and what will it do with the edit it will show the pages edit obviously del gives us the delete and when will it say del well again back to there del is short for delete and there's the del part so that's relatively easy and sweet there is a problem with this what if I decide if I go I don't need to go there I can go straight to the ad what if I decide to change that to the word duck well it's not loaded anything why not well because what it's done is it said has the get statement been created yes so it's going to run this code it stores the duck command to the action gets this switch and goes is it equal to add no is it equal to edit no is it equal to del no therefore it simply goes to here then goes to the end doesn't do anything that's a bit of bad coding that means that nothing happens so actually what I need here is a default setting now notice the command is default but there's no semicolon because we're not ending this line we put a colon because this command continues now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take this piece of command here copy it paste and you must remember the break if you don't remember the break then what will happen is if you have add it will include this page and then this page and then this page and then this page it will keep going until it meets a break 
So if you don't put the break in, it will add everything in, and that's going to cause a mayhem. But this default gives you the value worth working with because that means that if I put duck in and now run duck, it will run my home page. So if you try to break my website, this will simply go, oh yeah, you're just being a moron. Another problem, I'll load the main page. So we've got a catch all, and that's really important. Okay, so what does it do then? Well, let's have a look through. Let's go to the pages. Let's open the add page. And let's have a look at the difference between that add page and this one. You'll notice there is no difference at all. So we can close our two ad pages. We haven't changed those at all. We've dealt with our index. There's no, there's nothing else we need to know there. Just remember the curly brackets. Just remember the break and the semicolons. Remember this is a colon here, not a semicolon. But we finished with those two. So I must have changed that. I'm going to say no. Let's have a look at the delete page. Just make sure that we're not doing anything magical with the delete page. There's a delete page for session five. There's a delete page for session four, and it's the same delete page that we've used throughout the throughout the whole thing since the very first video. So we don't need to worry about the delete page. There's the edit page, and we can again see that not that's not changed at all either. Let's have a look at the next page which is the main. Now there is a small change. If you notice, as I swap between them, something down the bottom has changed. That's session 4's, that's session 5's. And what's changed here is that new addition. If you remember in session 4, I said, you may notice we've got the dollar $ID. We don't use it yet, but we will do. And that's what we're doing here. If I'm editing a page, I need to let the system know what page I wanted to edit. And I do that by setting another get statement ID and setting its value to the unique identifier for this particular record here. So that when I'm on that particular page, this edit, if you notice down here by the way it shows you, this is ID 1. But this is ID2, not record number. These are the IDs, the unique identifiers that the system creates. Same thing with delete, ID1, ID2. So I put ID and I put ID here. It's the only change I need to implement. But when I do, that allows me to begin to prepare to edit, for, edit the record first record to do with Mickey Mouse and the second record to do with Donald Duck. Couldn't do it on this page, can do it on this page. So that's the change for main. What about nav, just to go through all the pages on here. There's nav, and there's nav. So what's changed here? Well very very simply, this didn't go anywhere before. What I've now added is index.php to the top there, so that it knows that it's got to load the index.php, and I've added the act add there. Do notice is index.php needs to be in there to tell you that's what it's loading. The question mark then says what's following are get statements. It's the ampersand that separates them out. So this one's only got one get statement. It's the act statement. My other ones had to another statement, which was the ID and the act statement. That's everything on this document. That now gets you a very, very simple system, but we can load multiple pages without the user and the C in the structure and keeping the format. Notice how the format's following through because what's happening is that all of this is being applied before it gets to these includes. So when it loads this page up, it loads all of the CSS, all of the other documentation uh, features, and then pulls the include document in. So whatever document's being included 
has that styling applied to it so when I go to there everything looks the same everything's remaining consistent really nice really simple way of working hope that's made a lot of sense do again make sure that you're getting your head around it before moving on